So Lucas Films is being sued. All right, they're being sued by one of their producers. So Lucas Films actually hired Karen McCarthy to to do the Star Wars production of Acolyte. So they brought her on, and she started working for a couple weeks. Now she's suing them because they pink slipped her after a couple weeks. They offered her five thousand dollars as compensation, and she said that's a kick in my face because if I would have taken a different project, I would have made millions. I was supposed to make millions on this, I didn't, and I was actually offered an Apple TV Plus show. And if I would have taken that, I would have made so much money by turning that down to come to you guys. And that's her big problem with this. So um, it's it's just like a whole thing. She was a Baller's executive producer, and uh, she just she was just really upset about this. She says, as a result of bad faith and wrongful termination, the defendants deprived Miss McCarthy of significant employment, from which she would have earned yeah, millions of dollars from the life of the series. Now, two weeks later, after without an explanation, without reason, without justification, they told her they wanted out of the deal. And they gave her a 12-page filing in the Los Angeles Superior Court. By this time, the Apple Apple offer was gone. Apple had moved on and found another executive producer for a show called Sugar. And uh, and she was out. And that was it. This is a Colin Farrell starring project. And she could have done that. But she chose to do the Lucasfilm one instead, which, of course, it's Star Wars. So, I mean, maybe the Apple TV Plus one was a great option at the time. But if you have Star Wars in one hand and you have a, like a, you know Apple TV original program, I feel like you go with Star Wars. And this happens a lot, you know. I, the one, right. me, I mean, that's what I mean. That, I mean, that's what you do. So for me, when I heard this, I'm like, I get it. Like she took Star Wars, and then this happens. I will tell you, if the contract was signed, and it's all, you know, it's all there. Like, of course, she should get paid. But and this happens in Hollywood all the time. It's like, you know, you choose one thing, and then you're kicking yourself because you didn't do the other thing. You know, it, it happens. It happens to actors. It happens to crew. It happens to directors. It happens to everybody. But this is a big problem for, for Lucas because she might have an actual lawsuit here. She's going against them. She's going to fight them for the money that she's owed. And I feel bad for her because I know people this happens to, well, not millions of dollars like this. But like it's even happened to me where I've chosen one job and then I'm kicking myself to another job. Remember, I worked in the middle and uh, I did the first two weeks of the middle, the, the first, uh, you know, my first season. And then I went on to Inception, which again, I'm not kicking myself because I loved working on Inception. It led me down a different road. But then I'm like, it was like 10 years later, the middle's still shooting. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I missed out on that. But I, but it's like the opportunities you get in this town. I love town, that you, show too. I, it was, it was, it was fun. Show. Yeah, fun fun show. Good people on the show. Great people. And they were upset that I left when I left because it was like, it was one of those things. But I'm like, I'm like it's Christopher Nolan, you know? So again, then it, that'd be like me going that and then being fired or something like that. Let go. But I didn't have a contract. Like she had a contract. So that's a, it's a problem for Lucas. Sabrina, you hear about this. Do you think she has a case? And do you think that Lucas is going down with this? Think that they should have, that they're in the wrong? Um, I, I do believe she has a case, like 110%. Like they, she, they, they hired her, uh, from what I read, they hired her like in a position where she was going to start working immediately. And she did start working immediately. And they just like stopped uh, her contract like mid work. So she was already doing stuff. Um, and they offered her a five thousand dollar for one day, like uh, you know, some sort the of severance. severance. Yeah, yeah, a severance ish situation. Which you know, if she was working for more than one day, and uh, by the way, five thousand dollars a day rate, sign me up. Okay, anybody <laughs> wants to give me five thousand dollars a day to do anything, give me a call. I'll let you know. I'm I'm available. I promise. Um, but like I I understand like her plight. Like if she was hired to do this you know, to work on this project and turn down another job where she could have made equally as lucrative money. Like, I, I mean, she absolutely, legally, I think she has a case, you know, and they tried to pretend like she didn't even have a contract. They tried to pretend like it was, you know, not a thing, but then they offered yeah. this $5,000 offer bullshit pittance. Yeah. So obviously it was yeah, a thing. So I, I think, I absolutely uh, yeah. think that there is a day in court and I think she'll win, honestly. I yeah, I feel I like too. Right, right, Lexi. I feel like they know they're in the wrong. Right, they know how this business works, and they're just trying to be like, "Ah, eh, she'll just go away." But you have an executive producer that's worked on other projects like Ballers. You hire her for a reason. You know that she's good at her job. You know yeah. that she knows contracts, right? So, I mean, I don't know why they would actually then they get away with this, you know, without you know her going after them. So you you feel the same way that they're in the wrong that they'll probably be taken now. Do you think she'll win the case? Yeah, most likely. I mean, yeah. it's a shame too because Acolyte could have been really badass. Yeah, like it's a, it's a cool concept. I, I know about I know about that side of that story of Star Star Wars. So that could have been a good story. Well, they still shot it though. They still shot it. 
So yeah. they they did yeah they did it without her. So it's still yeah, coming it, out. Acolyte's still coming out. Shooting in October of 2022. So like I mean yeah they, they just they dumped just her. her then. They fucked her. Fucked her. Like they just fucked her. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just fucked no. her that's yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah no loop. Not even it. not even a little bit of loop. Like which is pretty no. fucked up if you ask me. Because because like, as much as like you're like well Apple TV I'm like yeah but some of that Apple TV shit's getting like high accolades Huge. right now like I'm not yeah. watching show, any of it because like uh, I don't, I, it's another streaming service that I don't want to sign up yeah. for but. Yeah. I mean, like what that that Coda walked away with all kinds of awards. That was an Apple yeah. TV. So wasn't many, it? yeah. Like, Ted I mean, Lasso. Like I mean, Ted Lasso like, is yeah. like one of the most like you know Severance nominated you know? and winning things. Yep, Severance as well. Uh, morning they, Show. Like they have. They they're have a investing lot a lot of money. So like they've got a lot of good people on there. They've yeah. got a lot of. They're all just seems like Apple TV is just trying to walk away with like the Oscars. It's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a bad place to go really if you're close. trying to establish mm-hmm. yourself and your career as a director. Yeah. So I think like, I mean, maybe a lot of people won't watch it, but the right people will watch it because mm-hmm. the right eyes are on anything that Apple TV is watching. Cause I mean, those people are winning awards left, right and center. So. And they're, they're willing to spend the money too. They just, they'll just they spend yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's because Apple has so much income from, of course, iPhones, computers, tablets, all this stuff. Like they're, right. that's where they really make their, their bread and butter. But, but like, regardless, just, they have great content, dude. They, they do. have great fucking content. But they have so much money to put into it. That's what I'm saying. They have so much money to put into it. Yeah. And it's like, they're not oh, charging sure. them. I mean, they're charging like my, five bucks a month. My problem is they don't have enough content. Cause like I that's had a, true. A, a year of it for free. And like I went on there and I was like, well, let me go through all of like your individual categories. I'm like, there is no individual category. There is everything. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is all of it on one whole page. It's like, yep, this is all of it. And I'm just like, well, all right then. I'm kind of already not interested. Like it's but, just not enough to keep my attention. I mean, to be it's- fair, like they were just starting. Like they just, they're just, it's like a brand new thing. It's totally. not like you know, like Netflix, like has been going for quite a bit. Not, I mean, streaming is new. Sorry. Streaming is new in general. Um, but I feel like, uh, I know I, I keep well, slapping them. the microphone, <laughs> <laughs> um, but Apple TV is like the newest of the new, you know? So like they're getting their footing and like with their footing, they have come with some amazing shows. Like Ted right. Lasso is one of my favorite shows that's ever been on fucking television. Honestly, I cannot wait. They start in like two weeks or a week and a half or whatever the fuck it is. And I cannot wait. Um, yeah. You know, like morning show is amazing. Like, you know, everything that we like, there is there is a lot going on there. And I feel like they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the future. Yeah, they, they put a lot really of time into in Amazing Adventures, the remake of the Spielberg series from back in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't Absolutely. watch. I saw that pop up, though. I saw something like that pop up. Didn't they have that? Like, well, I was like, mm, like a year. I don't even know how long. I feel like they they have a lot of stuff the on there. I didn't see. Yeah. yeah. I feel like time they're... has stood still since COVID. Like, I honestly still cannot yeah. judge the amount of time that goes by. Like, relatively, like I used to be able to. It's so bizarre. But but it's for like her the, though, the I get it. Like her being mad. <laughs> I get why she's mad. I I, I know this stuff oh, happens 100%. though in Hollywood a lot, and it's like a lot of people just take it and they walk away. But hopefully, you know. You know, if she's owed her money, she should get her money. It doesn't make sense Absolutely. why they let her go, but she, was, I, bet, I bet they had a friend or something that took her spot. There's probably some politics that went into why she was gone, especially because she's worked as this, this part before in a bunch of different projects. So the fact that she knows how to do the job, I can't imagine it was anything about that. It's probably something weird. And you know what? And they'll probably have to suffer for it. And they got enough money. They've got enough money. Come on. Come on, guys. Pay her due money. Just do it now. Do it now.